Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, hello to participants and visitors who are here in the Zoom call, and also to those who are watching us on Facebook live stream or maybe watching this recording later. Uh, I hope I, th I think you are all here to hear the results, so I will not dwell too much with the lyrical talk and, and descriptions. However, I would like to reiterate first uh, thanks to the jury who really had a very uh, important and also hard work of going through all of the presentations. They looked at your files, uh, which you uploaded, and uh, there were a lot of them. And they had to choose 10 of the best ones uh, that will go further. And this was not an easy task. And uh, there is a plot twist that uh, if someone of you logged into a Miro platform, uh, a little tip that uh, <laughs> the list is already there. Uh, so you can probably see the results quicker than I'm able to tell them. Uh, however, I shall proceed. Uh, the number of the teams that went through is 11. So the teams that were closest to the boundary, their point number was quite close. So we allowed ourselves to give you a chance to continue proving yourself. And so there is 11 teams who get uh, further. A second very important thing is that even if your team is not selected, the final team participant uh, list needs to be sent in by 30th of November, uh, which by coincidence is next Tuesday. Uh, in, in that regard, uh, you can still join a team that maybe needs a designer or needs a construction specialist, etc., because the fight for the final three places will be much harder and you need all the help you can get Otherwise, uh, let's, uh, without further ado, I will share the screen and show you the list. And also uh, today I will touch the follow-up activities that will be accessible also publicly. And some of them will be private specifically for the teams. Anyhow, the aim and reason of this conference, of course, <laughs> conference competition, conference was yesterday, uh, competition uh, is to educate you all on 3D concrete printing. So a lot of the workshops will be publicly accessible, even if your team didn't make it this time. So uh, here we go. This is the screen you need to see. And this is the list of teams. I will quickly also go over to them verbally if there is someone who is currently driving and can't look at the information visually. So also the teams are not uh, organized in the order of uh, <laughs> points. They are organized, I think, in the order of presentation. Uh, so the first team that is in the list is only only. Congratulations to Anna-Liva Traumann, Harry Svutsens and Madara Fortnaya. Uh, team KGT, Janis Weveris, Katrin Anna Peterson, and Tom Studers. Uh, team FRA, Egils and Erwins. Team B98, Davis Janssons, Justina Krista Cirole. Team Question Form, Uji Salbinch, Elza Lapiņa. Team Prolis and Co, Gustavs Prolis and Evi Rudzīte. Re R, Artur Smelišavs, Architects. Vladimir Sanavia Gupta, VCF or Habitat, uh, Voldemar Johansons and Dmitris Avellanos, North Artisans, Viesturs Baru Balodis and Haralds Gertz, and Crazy Idea, Daniela Hrapane. So at this point, you probably want to also hear the jury comments, which <laughs> you will not hear today, but uh, there will be an opportunity for the teams that have made it farther hear more information and that actually is the next activity on 30th of november also the date when you need to submit a list of uh, participants in this uh, event uh, the 3d concrete laboratory expert team so it will not be only Maris but also his team and the university of latvia representative will uh, go through these presentations that have been uploaded here and give more comments so basically what was the good parts, what could be improved, what during these next months you need to work on in order to be the best team and win the chance to realize the uh, object in, in real life. So that is again at seven o'clock in the uh, evening or afternoon. And that night is also the final team submission deadline. So after that, it's, it's you need to send the team uh, lists to concrete print event at gmail.com. So the same email we have been using for ages now. Uh, so that is quite an important point. 
after that. Oh, we can probably give a round of applause to all the teams who made it, and also a minute of silence for the teams who didn't make it in this year's uh, competition. But I think uh, next year uh, we will try to do it again, and and uh, there is always a chance to get better and and learn from from the experiences. So yes, this this is the list. Otherwise, about the next public meetings and activities after the next week's event, uh, there are five stages and you might have seen this number somewhere. Uh, each team that passed this selection gets 500 euros. So these stages are divided roughly by, <laughs> by the amount of uh, funding you will be able to spend on specific tasks. Uh, and let's go through them. So the first stage that will be the longest one because we will put we will be putting more and more heat on you so with each 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 stage you will be shortening the amount of time so the first stage that lasts five weeks uh and that's roughly five weeks we will probably adjust it a little bit but the gist mostly is this it will be on 3d printing a draft scale model in plastic it can be the same one you pitched if you want to adjust something make the design better add some details you can do that uh, so that's why we give you five weeks uh, and it's a draft scale model. It's not the final one you will be using for presentation. It's the draft scale model. So you basically see, okay, this is how it looks in 3D and printed. That will also, you will be needing to go through slicing and all the other activities that involve 3D printing. So one of the first activities, most likely on the 7th of December, all of those are Tuesdays, of course, and seven o'clock, there will be a presentation from Design Factory uh, with Q&A and also preparing and, uh, and slicing your models for 3D printing on uh, design factory printers. What sizes are available, what, what materials, etc. After that, we will probably have one meetup on creativity and uh, training if you want to improve your idea. One reason why it's five weeks is also that uh, first those who are doing it first time, it's not that quick. First, you need to like prepare the model and you need to send it. They will print it. Maybe there is an option to have an on-site visit. We will specify that in the participants chat later. The next stage is four weeks. And that's basically finalizing the design concept and printing an A1 poster proposal. So this is a draft poster. Uh, and uh, for, for this one, you are basically putting like this most likely will be your idea and you are putting it in a poster. After that, we have three weeks where we confirm the possibility of how your idea 3D prints. Uh, already next week, you will have this feedback from 3D Concrete Laboratory, but this is like this kind of final deadline when you need to know <laughs> how you are uh, going to print it. Will you divide it or uh, you can, in this section, Maris also mentioned that it will be possible for some teams that are a bit worried or maybe their uh, design is a bit challenging. It will probably be possible to print uh, part of the object in 3D for the teams where it's necessary uh, in, in full scale 3D concrete. And the fourth part that is even shorter is two weeks and that's uh, 3D printing the final presentation scale model. So we're giving a little bit of time for you to actually send in the files and put it for printing. And then the last week is for printing the final presentation posters. Yeah, it's also hundred euros here, up to hundred euros. So if you fail one print, you can probably do another one. Uh, although we would of course be happy if you <laughs> do the first one, but that's why we give a little bit leeway. And there, there can these these fundings can be transferable from one section to the other. If you want to print like more test models in plastic, it, it can be arranged. Otherwise, uh, on March of 2022, uh, probably on around 15th, we will uh, give the final date when we get uh, room reservations for the audience hall. Um, there will be a 10 minute final pitch for each of the teams uh, that have submitted the poster and the scale model and also an open, op, op, <laughs> opening of the exhibition. Uh, so uh, this text is uh, leftovers from someone else. That's what I wanted to say to you today. On uh, our website, you can also read the full uh, legal agreement if, if you have any questions. It's, uh, <laughs> it has been there for some while, but I probably, probably I did tell it, but uh, it's always good to re reiterate it. It's uh, when you press like download document, there is a button. I can probably show it 
to anyone if you, if you want to say that. Anyhow, that would be the second part of the competition. And there is also the third one, which starts around April, which is actually the realization. And that will be for one to three themes. So basically, we are definitely going for one printed object. But there is a possibility if we have a really good sponsor, Sacred, who are willing to give us a lot of 3D printable material. So there is a chance that we can also realize two or, or maybe even three. Uh, objects, but that's up for debate and also depends on the quality of your presentations and work. So it's not that only one uh, object will be realized. Also, University of Latvia holds the rights to <laughs> buy all your ideas. If they are so good, they can uh, implement them all in the campus. So that also remains to be seen, but at least in regards of this competition, we are rewarding up to three teams. I would say that these were the most important points I wanted to say today to reiterate. So remember about the final theme uh, deadline for tomorrow's, no, but next Tuesday's meetup. If you want to add something to your presentations that can be done, just send the final uh, version to our concrete print event email and we will upload it here for the experts to look through. That's also when you will be hearing more uh, comments from the jury, given that the final decision was made only yesterday on the amount of teams that uh, will, will get this uh, honor. Uh, they also need some time to think about the comments. And uh, actually one of them has raised their hand. Uh, so Mari, I, I didn't see when you did it, but now you can definitely speak your uh, sentence. Uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, congratulations also from uh, my side uh, regarding uh, all the themes that went through to the second stage. Uh, it was uh, quite a challenge for us, uh, the jury, to decide uh, which will go through and which will uh, be left behind. But I, uh, what I wanted to add to Matis um, is about the next week's uh, meetup. Uh, uh, I would like to reiterate uh, the idea is that. We not only uh, will go through the uh, presentations that we saw, uh, I would also like an, uh, a comment from some of the teams that uh, went to the second stage, because some of you uh, told about how you were, uh, how you are imagining how it would be implemented in 3D concrete. Uh, but for not, a, uh, not all of the teams, it's clear for, for me, uh, how, how do you think it will be? printed like will it be made in separate pieces or just a one print or, or uh, how uh, because uh, yeah, there were uh, several of these criteria at uh, where you got points and the printability was just one of the criteria so the idea from our side is that we will go through all the projects but we want also an input from your side uh, have you uh, uh, and uh, for you to uh, think about the uh, how you, do you see it possible to be printed? Yeah, you have uh, my uh, short uh, this presentation that I did before the uh, contest, or the longest uh, longer presentation that I did a, a few weeks ago, also on Creative Tuesdays. So uh, think about uh, how do you how do you see it uh, being printed? Because this will be a, a, the idea for your scale models in in plastic three D print, printing is that you do the scale model the same way that you could do the uh, uh, could do the uh, concrete 3d printing so you don't print for example if, if uh, for example you have a list like a large uh, large like three by three meter object you don't print the whole uh, object in the same time you, you try to print these different different blocks and put it put it as a so it it, it it's being printed in the same way as it would be printed uh, for the uh, for the um, uh, 3d 3d concrete of course, if it is possible uh, for some of the designs, I, I don't know how we'll see. So th that is why I want to see uh, to understand uh, your ideas, because for some of the things, I, I re uh, I, it's actually quite clear how you will uh, how it could be possible to realize it. But but for some things, it was not clear. And those three minutes, we 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 definitely the the, the jury definitely didn't ask you all the questions that we had. We had so limited time, so it is like a one or two questions. So. Uh, we definitely have more questions, and so we we would like to go through them in, in the next uh, week's meetup. Yeah, yes, thank you. Yeah, very very good comment. Thank you for uh, for chiming in. And uh, yeah, the, the the thing about points, we only had I think five points for printability. So currently, that was not a very high priority, but it will be extremely high for the next uh, section of the competition. 
And uh, in, in, in that regard, uh, when you finalize your team, members probably think about, do you have a person who is good at 3D modeling? Do you have a person who's skilled at, at generating these uh, data sets? Of course, we have experts that will help you, but at, at the end of the day, it will be your work and you will be responsible for <laughs> printing it. So if you don't have such a person in your team, it's probably a good time to add them to the team. And you can also look at the teams that unfortunately didn't make the cut and look at their expertise is in the mirror board and maybe you can find some valuable gems there uh, especially on the on the 3d printing part because we had a lot of people who are skilled in that also in materials uh, which will be important uh, and uh, what maris mentioned uh, his lecture is available on our facebook page uh, on, on the youtube and also here on the mirror on the left side if you scroll for a while at, at, at one point you will arrive at uh, this uh, October of 26th. So the presentation files are available here. And also your video, the video, you can even play it from here. You don't even need to leave on the mirror board. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think from, from my side, it's uh, mostly it. Although I do have two closing uh, statements or comments. One of them is that uh, for these, um, these next stages of the competition, so five stages, uh, we have already approached some, uh, also jury members and lecturers that will guide you along. But if there is a specific uh, question or, or maybe a topic, uh, like for example, about post-processing 3D printed models for scale model presentation, like how to send them and paint them, if you, if you want to do that, maybe you don't want to, that is something we can consider. Like if, if there is a guest lecturer you would like to hear or see, uh, then definitely we can try that. Maybe we will get one from China, actually, the, the one that Maris showed in his presentation, and the professor uh, who made this university park in 3D printing concrete, if he will be available, we might, might uh, get a chance to hear him and he will tell how they achieved the actual practical results. So that's something we are extremely looking forward. And also Perry company who owns one of the largest uh, 3D printing, <laughs> 3D concrete printers have also expressed interest in sharing their experience. So there might be a public lecture on that topic too. So also how, how they are approaching large scale 3D concrete printing. And uh, if, if you have someone else that you would like to hear or you think would be worthwhile learning on a topic, definitely send those suggestions also here in the comments in, in the Zoom chat, or if you remember later uh, to our email. Uh, or, or in the WhatsApp chat, that, all, all, that always works for quick communication. Otherwise, I think my part uh, here is over, uh, so it's time for you to celebrate. Uh, this time you have to get your own pizzas. And <laughs> we will not be sending them, but, but uh, and, and for the other teams, uh, probably look uh, how you can uh, reallocate your expertise and maybe help uh, others in this time. And who knows, next time maybe you will be the winners. I think all of, all of the teams had something specific in them. But sometimes in life you have to choose and, and select only a few. So jury did their best in that regard. And, and uh, yes, thank you everyone. And if you have any questions, then it's, now is the time to ask them or, or, or give some closing comments, raise your hand. I will wait for one minute. <laughs> if there is no, no comments or uh, hands raised, then I will uh, stop waiting and we will finish our today's meetup. And so the one minute starts now. I will tell something more, probably not. I will stop the screen share. And then meanwhile, uh, yes, I don't really see any hands, but let's wait a few more seconds. If, if someone decides to speak out, <laughs> say how, how sorry they are that they lost or how happy they are that they won. But I think uh, everyone is already celebrating among themselves. So in that regard, I would say thank you, everyone. See you in the WhatsApp chat next Tuesday. Remember to save the date for seven in the, uh, it's always seven in the evening on Tuesdays. Uh, and, and otherwise, good job. And let's continue the sprint and make some awesome 3D printed elements. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye.